we will talk about family and cultural traditions. We can explain that families have different cultural traditions. We can show respect for families and cultures that are different than ours. Our story is called Our Culture, Our Traditions. All families are not the same. Families across the world come from different places. They have different ways of life. They are each unique. The diversity of families across the world is special and should be celebrated. Families across the world have different cultures. Your culture is the behavior, beliefs, and customs that people who are similar to you share. A tradition is something that a family does at a certain time. Your family traditions are often related to your family's culture. In the American culture, people celebrate birthdays by singing a song and lighting candles on a cake. In the Japanese culture, your shoes are always removed before entering a house. Families have different cultural traditions, things they do that relate to their culture. Oftentimes, these are ideas and customs that have been passed down through many generations. They may have been started long ago, perhaps hundreds of years ago. Not every family eats the same foods for dinner. What you eat may depend on your family's cultural traditions. Mateo's family prepares traditional Hispanic foods for dinner. They eat tortillas, mole, and rice and beans, and flautas. Hiran's family prepares traditional foods from his Indian culture, like papu and pulsua. Not every family celebrates the same holidays. What holidays you celebrate may depend on your family's religion and cultural traditions. Kip's family is Jewish. They celebrate the eight days of Hanukkah every November or December by lighting a menorah. They eat special food like potato lakis and play dreidel games and sing songs. Not every family wears the same clothes. The clothes that you wear each day may depend on where you live or your cultural traditions. American children like Tiana often wear t-shirts, jeans, and sneakers. Muslim girls like Mahik may wear a traditional head covering called a hijab. Indian girls like Samina may wear a sari, which is a traditional draped wrap. Jewish boys like Peter may wear a traditional round cloth cap on their head. Not every person styles their hair the same way. The way you style your hair may depend on your family's cultural traditions. African American girls may wear their hair in coiled curls, in braids fastened with colored beads, or in a natural afro. In the Punjabi culture, men wrap their hair in a turban, while boy in a called dastar, while boys wear a patka. The type of music that you listen to may depend on your family's cultural traditions. In Canada, the Navan Inuit people sing um, songs that involves their <laughs> involves their throat a lot, which is a cultural tradition that's been passed down for hundreds of years. In some African Caribbean cultures, the steel pan drum rhythms of calypso music are a strong reminder of how their ancestors fought for freedom from slavery. Not every family speaks the same language. The language that you or your family members speak may depend on your cultural heritage. Juan's family is from Puerto Rico and they speak Spanish. Umar's family came to America from Syria. They speak Arabic at home and are learning to speak English. Each family's culture is important. Our cultural traditions are what help to make us who we are. The many different cultures from around the world contribute to the growth and development of our country's communities. No matter how our difference in culture, traditions, how we dress, or the language we speak, 
all families deserve respect. You'll be completing the top part of this activity on Seesaw today. Listen to each text box, and then you'll be matching it to the corresponding or correct picture. 